What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is Justin Copeland, and I am joined by... Grace. Grace is back. First off, if you don't know, this is a channel where we talk about everything fragrance and then some. If you want to enhance your freshness, your freshness being you bringing your best self into every situation, treating people with respect, understanding, and kindness, mm -hmm. carrying yourself with elegance and class, then I suggest you subscribe. Join the Fresh Squad. You will feel it. Others will smell it. <laughs> we are talking about Michael Malul. Michael Malul. I like what they're doing for the most part. I don't love all of their fragrances. I've reviewed many of them and I'm pretty transparent in all my reviews. The ones I like, I tell you. The ones that are okay, I tell you are okay. Mm. But today we're talking about one fragrance that I have spoken highly of because I do really like it. And I think you've smelled it before once, but mm -hmm. we'll refresh you today. And we're talking about a brand new fragrance specifically for the ladies in a little bundle here, a little duo. They're not gonna come together, but because the Christmas season is upon us, at least at the time of filming this video, we're gonna present these as a nice little kind of his and hers fragrance gift, maybe for couples, or even if you would just wanna get one or the other for a significant other or a friend. So the fragrances are <laughs> aptly named Citizen Jack. This is the absolute version, which is one of their best sellers, along with Citizen Jill. So we're gonna keep this very simple. Grace hasn't really smelled Citizen Jill in its entirety. We're gonna spray it on her hand, see what she thinks of it. You smelled this before, but we'll refresh you on my skin. We'll start with Citizen Jack. Perfect. We'll save the main event for the end. I like the bottle. The bottle's great too. That smells great. Yeah, I find that it doesn't really smell like the bottle. You see this bottle and you would expect something kind Darker. of dark and woody and it doesn't smell. It doesn't it's smell that way at all. It's, it's very fruity. There's lots of pineapple yeah. in here, maybe some other fruits. It's a playful fragrance. I would say it's actually perfectly unisex. It's not necessarily straight for men. Anyone could wear this. You see the bottle, you might assume it's men, and this is technically their men's line. I would wear this on a date night for sure. Honey, I want to smell maybe a little bit edible mm. to you. Mm. If I know we're going to be close in close proximity to each other. Better watch out, I'll just be yeah. looking at <laughs> I think there's some vanilla in there as well. <laughs> Don't like try that, that out, <laughs> especially during COVID. Trust me, it does not taste the way it smells. <laughs> yeah, so, it's great. It, yeah, smells, good. it does not smell like the bottle, no. as he said. No, great it looking is. bottle. But Beautiful. It smells a little different than that for sure. Yeah, it's yummy. Yeah, so I've actually done a full review of this. I do recommend checking that out. If you want to know more in depth about how it smells, what else you can wear it for, how it performs, all that stuff, mm -hmm. it's all in the video. Now we want to see how you feel about Citizen Jill in the real world here. So let it air out a bit. And I'll read you the notes mm. as you smell it. Wow. I think I smelled it on paper once, but this is my first time really Interesting. smelling it in a more realistic way. So I think off the top you get some citruses like bergamot and citron, which is mm. almost like a lemon-like vibe, but with pear. Yeah. So there's kind of a sweet fruitiness. It is kind of a standard formula in terms of like a female fragrance profile. You start with brighter notes like fruits and citruses. You have a floral heart. And then you might have some richer Something notes warmer. in the base, like amber, vanilla, sandalwood, things like that. Yeah, totally. You know, it's bright and fresh. Mm -hmm. It's fruity sweet. There's this floral roundedness to it. I think that kind of fills out the scent. So it's not just like bright fruits and citrus. There's some body and it has like a warm, creamy base, I would say. Kind of sweet, warm, creamy base as it sits. There's something different about it. Yeah. I think pear can come off in a number of ways. First of all, pear, I'm pretty sure, is a synthetic ingredient. There's no pear essential oil or anything. Same thing with apple. And it lends this interesting sharpness to the scent, I think. It's fruity sweet, yeah, but there's a crisp quality that's almost cutting to the nose. At least for me, when I mm -hmm. smell it, it's almost like, whoa, yeah, that's pear for sure. It's not like a sweet, soft, fruity note at all. There's a very bright crispness to it. Now, again, we're smelling it up close, which is never the most natural way to experience any fragrance. Again, it's like looking at the Mona Lisa like this. It's like, man, it looks okay, I it's guess. All you see is lips. You just see <laughs> just dots, like <laughs> little dots and grooves and the canvas and all that stuff. But anyway, so would you call this a characteristically feminine? 
fragrance. Like this is something you would expect to smell on a woman yeah, or I would expect say yourself to wear. They both lean middle. Like this one's really? definitely, I mean. Okay, and I, I can see what you mean by that. It's like not. The base to it, the, I think from the atomizer, it smells a little bit more like, hmm, okay, I think this is gonna be like a creamy, fruity floral. But once you spray it on, that sharpness comes through and I think the warm base kind of does what it, I think you're saying, leans it unisex. Yeah. You see bases of amber and vanilla and sandalwood in a lot of fragrances. And like pretty quickly, the sharpness has gone away and you're mm. just kind of left with like a warm. Yeah, totally. Kind of sweet. I, I'm not familiar with the scent of poppy, but it's not something you see a lot of. I mean, poppy is what they use, if I'm not mistaken, to make heroin. They call it a hazy, powdery, floral mm -hmm. note. Totally. Hazy. Ha yeah, hazy is a good word. Hazy is a great word. It's not just super bright, like morning dew. It's Cloudy a, about yeah, it. Yeah, there's an edge to it. It almost affects the texture of the scent as well. Yeah. It's a little different. I wouldn't say it's the most off the wall, like women's release, so to speak, but it is a little different. That touch of poppy, I do think, kind of makes it stand out a bit. So definitely for your poppy loving friends. Especially if they're named Jill. Great gift. <laughs> this is it's a Amazing. double whammy, really. Amazing gift. So I'd say go for that. Obviously, <laughs> Citizen Jack Absolute still remains as one of the best sellers. It's calmed down a bit, so it's mm, even smoother, yeah. I think. Would you wear both of these? I honestly prefer Citizen Jack. Okay, I did that. At least on your skin. Sure. Uh, who knows how it smell on mine. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much <laughs> for tuning in. We have a code which has been long-standing. Stay Fresh 20, use that to get 20% off any purchase. If you're unsure about going in on any of these fragrances that we've spoken about, they do have discovery sets. You can get a little discount on that. Those are great gifts. Oh yeah, perfect gifts for the holiday season. If it, you know, something resonates, then obviously someone can upgrade to a full bottle. You can use the code again. You can use it an unlimited amount of times, save you that 20% once again. So Grace, thanks for lending your thoughts once. Again, I keep saying once again. Thank you for coming again, once again. I'm only gonna say once again, Another once again. Ten more times. <laughs> Make sure you join the Fresh Squad by subscribing, <laughs> and thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. See you in the next one.